Please sit down. Good afternoon, class. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. So, how was your day today? It's a fine, good. Are you done eating your lunch? Yes, okay. So now, our next topic is all about housekeeping. So do you have any idea what is housekeeping? Okay, so when you say housekeeping, it is the management of duties and jurors in running households. So these are the household jurors. What did you do? Manihiga mo sa yung palay. Manghugas ba mo? So those are household jurors. So next is housekeeping. It may also refer to the management of an office where employees stay for several hours of the day. So next is so individual who manages the household is referred to housekeeper. So ang tawag sa mga tao as individual who manage the household. So sa balay, it's called is housekeeper. So if, if a person who manage big establishments such as malls, hospitals, they're called domestic staff. So kung nasa balay, it is called housekeeper. If nag-work siya sa household church, a big establishment, it is called as domestic staff. Do you understand what is the difference? between housekeeper and domestic staff. Okay, so now let's proceed to our next two topics. Next slide. So why it is important to clean the house or establishment? So, manong how important man na maglimpyo ta sa kumbalay? Okay, to make our house clean and safe. So, to make the home look pleasant, the eye smell better, safer and comfortable to live in for all dwellers. So when you stay in your home, so make sure it is clean. Basta mo doon ka sa inyong balay na hugaw, right? So, so next is, the important areas of the house that must be clean and sanitized are the toilets. So, and bathrooms, urinals, lavatories, and other accessories. So, make sure So make it sure your kitchen is clean. Why? Not important in our kusina na to is clean because at do tarito mag prepare sa atong foods, di ba? So next is body are in direct contact with. So so mo na asa asa tamudo atong lawas is na upper manit physically. So next is we will talk about the cleaning and sanitizing equipment. So when you say equipment, what comes into your mind? Okay, it talks about the washing machine, yes. Vacuum cleaner, yes. Insecticides or chemicals, okay, very good. So now, let's proceed to number one is the cleaning and sanitizing equipment. As you can see, there is an equipment. Do you have any idea what is that? Okay, very good. So, this is a vacuum cleaner. So, vacuum cleaner is used to scrub floor, strip and polish hard floor surfaces and also to polish the nail wood and carpet. So, maybe you are familiar with it. So, when, whenever you go in malls, you can see those kind of, let's just call them as jelly Diba? Na, Nanglimpyo sila sa mga agianan to make it clean ang floor. So, muna yung tawag ko, vacuum cleaner. So, next is, how about this one? What is this? So, this is yes to remove dust particles, specifically from carpet, surfaces, and upholstered furniture. This could also be used in cleaning hard surfaces. So, ang tawag ani is floor polishers. Kung si vacuum cleaner, iya is to polish ang mga tiles arong limpius na tinawad. So, kung may ang floor polisher, is only ang arong mga hard tiles. As you can see, natin itawag na tiles na smooth o natin tiles na rough. So, ang sa rough, ang atong gamito is si floor polisher. Am I interested? Okay, so now let's proceed to the next one. It 
So this one is used of picking up dirt and some particle uh, from the carpet. So what do you kill this one? Okay, this is a carpet sweeper. Are you familiar with it? Okay, very good. So now is, how about this one? Are you familiar with it? Makita mo mo is the malls or hospitals, wherever you go, the big establishment. So this is an all-purpose vacuum used for absorbing water in planet or wet surface and can also be used for dry surfaces. So this is a hydro vacuum or wet and dry vacuum cleaner. So next is, how about this one? Nakita na mo ani. This is also an equipment, equipment. So this is intended for dry home shampooing or carpets. There, that stays to penetrate <coughs> into the layers of the carpet is removed by using this. So this is a carpet extractor. So next is the car trolley. So are you familiar with this? Okay. So it is used to stop cleaning supplies and chemicals in order to make faster and easier. So cleaning tools. So unata equipment. So naputay mga cleaning tools. So this is a scorching pads. Ano ba ang magamit ng mga scorching pads, ma? O yung last, if you are cleaning the hard surfaces, then you use scorching pad. So, these are two colors, the green and white pot. Green is used for scrubbing rough, dirty surfaces. White is used for cleaning painted surfaces, marble, porcelain, and mirrors. So, I know you're familiar with this. So next is, how about this one? These are used to wipe or dust wood and painted part. This can be a towel cloth to wipe. So this is a dusting clothes. Or if you have an unused shirt, you can use it also. Diba? Hindi na kumpalit o mga towels. So next, another cleaning tools is, it is made of smooth, soft cloth used to polish metal surfaces in the kitchen and bathroom in other parts of the house made up of metal. So this is also called as polishing cloth. Okay? So now, top of this one, I know you're familiar with it. Wherever you go, you can see this one. Wherever, asang suko sa balay, di ba? So, it is used for sweeping the floor. Some made of hard materials can be used to remove cobwebs from the ceiling. So, when you say cobwebs, are those not anato sa ceilings? And na may cobwebs na dito sa itong area? Wala. So, very good. Nang limpyo na yung ito mo sa inyong room, class. So, this is a cleaning batch. Ah, cleaning room. So, next is, how about this one? So, it is used for mopping the floor. This has to be wet, usually to remove stains on the floor. This will also be used dry to wipe or dry wet floor to avoid accident. So, what do you feel this one? So, and the point is the bathroom, so CR, and the classroom. So, this is a mop with handle. So, do you have mop here in your classroom? Okay, very good. I can see it that your room is very clean. So, good, very good. Good for class. So, next is how about this one? Okay, yes, you are familiar with it. If you have a car, you can clean the mirror or the glass, right? So, these are used to remove excessive water from the surface and burn it, especially glass surfaces. This speeds up the drying process of the surfaces. So this is a floor and window 
squeezes. So next is, this is used for cleaning toilet bowls. It is provided with plastic or wooden handle for its reaching to the part of the wall or na ay mga something na hindi lift sa bow. Diba? Diba? Hindi naman kaya nung CR tanga na yung pilit gamay. So, mga nang magamit ako, toilet bowl brush. So, another one is the sponge. So, these are made of soft. Mother I used to clean fine surfaces. So, mga fine rag, mga dinagunay rag. So, next is about this one. I know you're familiar with it. So, it's a black. It is a black bag. This I use as a lining for garbage containers to prevent the wet garbage from penetrating the reflect to the container. So this is a trash bag. So next is, these are used for picking up dirt on the floor and cigarette butts from the ash trays. So kung tayo mga gagmay na nang atangang ka sobra-sobra sa cigarette, yung pwede magiging naman korok, di ba? So, to ang imuhang gamito. Do not use your hand, one man, because it is dirty. So, make it sure when you pick a small cigarette, so you use to. Or, you can use a sweeping floor, di ba? Pwede man ka magamit na na. Do not use your hand. Kaya ang gamot is mukha on pa. Hindi ka na nagpunin itong sigarilyo. Ayan, dahil mukha on na yung gas. Dirty, big, no, no. So next is, so we are done with the cleaning materials and the equipment. So now let's proceed to the cleaning chemicals. So when you say cleaning chemicals, so these are chemicals that are going to It should be placed in the cabinet that you can see in the bag, especially with kids, right? So number one is wood polish. So wood polish is used to polish or shine wood surfaces such as sofa and similar pieces for furniture. So another cleaning agent is insecticide. So kill cockroaches, kind of mga mosquito. This is here to propagate or eliminate insects and pests. So next is methylated spirit. This is a chemical used to polish all glass surfaces such as mirror, windows, and others. So other cleaning chemicals is this is used to spray gastrum. Araw bumbon ang kwarto. Base ng kwarto is baho. Baho suo. So make it sure you have an air freshener to give a fresh smell or to remove foul odor from the room. So next is moriatic acid. So this is only a spray for removing hard dirt from cement floor or similar surfaces. This must not be used in cleaning toilet bowls since it will strong and it can damage the tiles. So Sayo ang mga gamit na tumingan naman. We use muriatic acid for the toilet bowls, right? So, when you clean the toilet bowls, so make it sure you use chlorine na lang. Araw din kayo dako ang damage compared to muriatic acid. Kaya grabe ka strong ang acid sa kaniang muriatic acid. So, that's all our topic today. Did you understand? Okay, very good. I know you are familiar with it because some of them are can be found in your home or house, right? So maybe you're familiar. Uh, you're familiar with chemical agents, insecticides. We are talking about the kind of like map with handle and maybe some equipment or you are not familiar with it since we cannot find it in our in our house maybe we can find the 
vacuum cleaner in a big establishment, right? So, since we are far from the area like at the Stabilahan, so, dikit, maybe some of you, no, kapadong dito, di wala kong makitaan na. But at least, as of now, you have, you have an idea what are those, o para asa sila, right? Okay, so, for that, we will have our project number one. So, in your project, I want you to present a video presentation related to our lesson. So, <coughs> so magama mo video presentation. So, you will make a video presentation about the tools, the utensils, and materials in housekeeping. Cleaning and sanitizing equipment, safety measure in doing household tasks. So, okay, the sub ten back. Okay, so tomorrow, before we have our new topic, so we will have a short week. So, please study. I know it is basic, so do not be pressured as long as you listen to my discussion today. So, do you have questions? Okay, now so far. So please stand up for the prayer. In Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and the Holy Spirit. At once the beginning is now, never shall be world without an Amen. Okay, class, goodbye. And